Kansas and Oklahoma. Uh, this should be very interesting. And who would have thought, I'm telling you what, if we rewound the tape or we, we just played Kansas versus Oklahoma the prior to the or first week of the season, you would have said to me that if they had played October 15th instead, Kansas would be the five and one team. Oklahoma would be the three and three team. You'd think you're nuts. And here we are that Kansas is the better of these two teams right now. Yet the point spread does not indicate that uh, as Oklahoma is seven, seven and a half point home favorites in this game, 64, the total in this one. Part of me thinks I could be walking into one of the biggest and most gigantic traps I've ever walked into in my betting career. And the other part of me thinks this is an insane line with what we're seeing from Oklahoma right now. I mean, Dylan Gabriel's banged up. Uh, we don't know if he's going to return for this game against uh, Kansas. And we saw without him against Texas, uh, this guy can't play, Davis Bevel. He was putrid, absolutely horrible in that game. Six for 12, 38 passing yards, one interception. He was dreadful. If they don't have Dylan Gabriel, the southpaw back, they got no chance in my opinion, to cover this number, certainly. Maybe because there's still that per perceived recruiting you know, edge where you know Oklahoma's got all the big recruits, Kansas not so much. They can win but based on that. I just don't see it. you know. And, and like I say, Bevel was terrible at quarterback. They need Gabriel back if they're going to win and cover this game, as far as I'm concerned. 49 nothing. they get shellacked uh, by uh, Texas. Brent Venables, another week where the defense makes zero improvement. Uh, another game where they're giving up 40s. That's now 41, 55, and 49 points in the last three games. And, oh, yeah, Kansas got a pretty good offense this year uh, for the most part. Now, the concern with Kansas is they suffered a quarterback injury last week. Jalen Daniels, uh, will he return? It looked like this is a week-to-week -week thing uh, right now with Jalen Daniels. But the backup quarterback played pretty solid. Jason Bean, North Texas transfer, a, a guy that's very familiar running the style of offense that Kansas runs, the up-tempo spread. And he came in and he, against uh, TCU and 16 of 24, 262 passing yards, four touchdowns, only one interception. Bean was okay. I like Kansas regardless, whether it's Daniels, whether it's Bean. See, the difference, Connor, is Kansas can go from Jalen Daniels to Jason Bean, and there's not a huge drop-off. Maybe a little drop-off, but not a huge drop-off. Oklahoma's gone from Dylan Gabriel to this De Davis Bevel, and the kid didn't look like he's ever played football before last week against Texas. Deer in a headlights to the tits from that guy uh, against Texas. So to me, it's a bigger deal, the loss at quarterback for Oklahoma, big time compared to Kansas. I'm on Kansas plus the points. I don't care if it's a trap. I don't care who's at quarterback for uh, Kansas. Both can play. Give me the points with the Jayhawks here. What, we think they finally lost? They're going to fall apart? I don't buy that. It's a good coach, too, Leipold. He'll have the troops ready for this game uh, in Norman. What do you think, Connor? Yeah, you know, it was like last week. Everyone went off the last 20 or 30 years. Oh, these teams, there's never been a blowout in that game, Oklahoma, Texas. But if you just like the eye test, I'm thinking Texas is going to kill them, and they did. You know, because I know every, all the betters were scared. Take Oklahoma in the points. They're going to come back. That just didn't happen, you know, at all. 38 passing yards, like you mentioned. I don't know. He can only do better, but Kansas, you know, Bean was good in that backup. Four touchdowns. He threw for 260. The big key here is give it to Neal. Devin Neal and the running backs for the J. I know they've had some injuries there, uh, but, it, you know, he'll have it. That's Oklahoma can't stop the run. You know, they gave up like 350 to TCU. K State had a ton of yards. They cannot, you know, bad pass defense, but that run defense is horrible for the Sooners. And that's got to keep. Kansas in this game. I mean, I'd even take a money line. I until I see something at Oklahoma. Yeah, there's no way uh, I'm betting them. No way, in Kansas. It's Devin Neal's been the primary running back lately for Kansas because Kai Thomas, who was supposed to be maybe their starting back, he's been in and out due to injuries. But they can. I don't think it matters as much here because Oklahoma's run defense has been inept. They haven't been able to stop anybody. Doesn't matter what team. Doesn't matter what opposing running back. They have not been able to stop the run. Uh, whatsoever. And keep in mind, they played last year, Connor Mack, Oklahoma, Kansas. Oklahoma won 35 23, but Kansas won the, the stats. They outgained Oklahoma 412 to 398. And believe it or not, Jason Bean was the quarterback for Kansas in that game last year against Oklahoma. And he played very well. 
And if so, that's why I said if he's the quarterback here and Jalen Daniels is out, it's Jason Bean. I don't care. He can go in there and play well right now against a Civ defense, in my opinion. Yeah. Hey, and they're seven and a half. So it was like, you know, I knew it moved to seven. I had seven and a half. That covered. They lost to TCU. But I this is another money line. You take Kansas money line too, and you get seven and a half right now. Even if they lost by field goal touchdown, you cover. You cash. So 